you fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, honest review updates. Grab yourself some popcorn, it's gonna be a long one, and a healthy beverage. Stand by. Welcome back to the channel, fishy folks. Today we're gonna to be talking about products I've reviewed in the past, and I'm gonna give you an update and one brand new product that I'm really looking forward to trying from a pretty large company. So uh, hopefully you guys will wanna try it as well. Uh, before we get started, I just wanna mention two things. One, some of these things I am an affiliate for, meaning I get either a discount when I buy stuff or I get stuff just given to me, uh, or I'm an affiliate and I put a link down below. Hopefully you click it and buy something and I make some shekels. Um, but gotta be honest with that stuff. It's just better that way. Plus it's the rules for YouTube. Um, the second thing I wanna tell you is everything that I've, I'm talking about, I've used in my fish room. Um, it works for me, whether it works for you or not is a whole nother story, but the moral of that story is there's multiple ways to do things in the hobby. There isn't one right way or wrong way. So if I'm telling you something using a product and you've had a different experience, that's okay. There's really nothing wrong with that. It's just life. It's just how things are. So let's talk about the first product. Uh, and this is the CC, CC, I forget. I'm fine, by the way. I was told how to say it. Lisa from KG Tropicals told me, and I forgot because I'm old. I think CC. CC Shark ADV internal filter. Now, if you remember, I bought this filter for Taco's tank, and I did have a concern when I bought it because he can be aggressive, and I didn't want him to break it. So I bought it from KG Tropicals, which I am an affiliate for. I did pay full price. And then I called John and was like, hey, do you think uh, Taco's gonna destroy it? And he said, no, it should be fine. And I, I believe him, he's been a hobby a long time, he has no reason to lie. Plus, he knows if he told me the wrong information, I'm gonna come on here and say it, because that's what I do. So, um, about a week after I installed it, uh, Taco knocked it off the, the bracket that holds it on. And because of how that tank is set up, because I'm an idiot, <coughs> I'm fine, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't fix it right away because I have to drain half the water, move the tank out, get my hand in. Anyway, about a, about a week or two after that, I was able to do what I needed to do. I reinstalled it and it's been running for, I don't know, about about two weeks now. And uh, it's doing a great job. I'm gonna show you how, how clean it looks um, and what a great job it does. And I'm really happy with it. Uh, I am concerned that he's gonna knock it off again because the only thing that holds it on is a bracket and gravity. Um, which I showed you in the first video. I'll put a link to that video here. <clears throat> but as far as cleaning, it does a great job. Um, it's got two chambers, both with uh, sponges in it. I think you can add more or you can uh, put beneficial bacteria, media in there, rocks or, or what have you. Um, but I just use the sponges. There's a, a coarse sponge and a fine sponge. Um, I think when they get clogged, it's gonna sort of back up and kind of float a little bit, which is how I'm gonna know. Um, but I only use this for mechanical filtration. I use the Aquarium Co-op sponge filter, which I love, by the way, uh, for biological. So if you're looking for an internal filter, give this one a try. I do really recommend it. The next product I wanna talk about is something very, very simple. And it's this Pleco feeder. Um, all it is basically is a wire with a U-shape and a little piece of rubber to hold it on the tank. A little, little bobber so it doesn't bang against the glass and then a corkscrew. And basically you fruits or vegetables on it. I usually do cucumbers or zucchini. And then you put it in the tank and the plecos and quarries and, and everything else nibble on it. <coughs> I'm okay. I need my coldest water cup, but it's upstairs. Anyway, that's the Pleco feeder. It's a pretty neat thing. Um, it's very useful if you have Plecos or quarries. Even in a uh, well-established planted tank, what makes it great is you can hang it and not disturb the bottom and everything. And so it keeps the tank cleaner. Comes in two sizes. This is the small, and then there's a longer, a large. Um, and I'll show you the large 
uh, again in a tank. So, and let's talk about a new product. So, a company called Hager, Hager, big company, um, contacted me about this heater. They want me to try this heater. Now, I'm very skeptical about heaters because it's one of the products that you can put in your tank that can literally kill your fish. If a filter fails, typically you're gonna know about it because you're gonna hear it or you're gonna see it not working. But if a heater fail, and, and if it fails while you're sleeping, typically, in most cases, about 100% of the time, it's not gonna kill your fish immediately. If a heater fails, especially if it fails on the hot side, it will kill your fish pretty quickly. And if it doesn't kill them, it's gonna harm them and they may die eventually. So uh, I'm skeptical to try this. I haven't really decided on what tank I'm gonna put it in. I'm actually looking to see, oh, it does open like I thought. So this is the Hager Pinpoint Quartz Heater with IC Temp Controller, HG925. I'll put an Amazon link down below it will be an affiliate link for me. If you click it, I do make some shekels from Amazon. It's packed pretty nice. Take a look at that. Instruction manual, which you probably won't look at. So it's got this little, this is a little, a little, little heater for 300 watts. Is that what it is? I think it's 300 watts. It doesn't actually say. I thought it was 300 watts. She gave me a choice. And my thought was I was going to put it in Taco's tank, um, but I guess we'll see. And it comes with this controller, temp controller, which what this does is you set this for a, temp uh, a certain temperature and it, it's it got probes that go in the water or a probe that goes in the water. And if the temperature goes below that, it turns the heater on. If the temperature goes above that, it turns the heater off. And that is supposed to keep heaters from malfunctioning and killing all your fish. Anyway, I have to see what size this is because it might not be big enough for, for Taco's tank. Now it is pretty thick, <laughs> um, so we'll see. So it's got these suction cups, which you know I hate suction cups. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this on camera because I'll probably be cursing. Oh, actually wasn't that hard. I kind of got the little trick where you, you put them in on an angle and twist like it's a screw, like it's got threads, and uh, it works. Actually, these are pretty easy, I have to say. That was really easy. So we got that. Put this over there. And then the controller also has a suction cup. I probably will end up reading the instructions because I don't want to kill Taco. I don't want to harm him. But I think I'm gonna put in Taco's tank because it will be the easiest one uh, for me to film and for you to look at. And I don't know. Yeah, that one's in too. These were actually quite easy. All right, so I'm gonna set that up and I'll show you that later. Another product I wanna talk about which was just shipped to me are these uh, aquarium co-op specimen containers. Now, this is a funny story. I have four or five of these in different sizes, a couple small, a couple large. And they actually make two different kinds. This is like a softer plastic, so it's a little bit more durable. If it drops, if you drop it, um, it typically doesn't crack. And then there's a cheaper version that is harder plastic. If you drop them or look at them funny, they crack. And I've had those kind, the older kind, the, the, the crunchier kind we'll call them, for since the beginning, for about five years. And over time they dry out and they get more brittle. Well, a couple weeks ago I dropped the one and it, it cracked and, and I was pretty annoyed because, you know, it costs money to replace and I do need them. And um, I was looking online where to buy them, where the cheapest ones I wanted, these soft ones. And I got a message from Zenzo from Tazawa Tanks. If you don't know, Zenzo now uh, works for Aquarium Co-op and uh, I'm an affiliate, uh, a brand ambassador for Aquarium Co-op and he, Literally that day, he sent me a message. Hey, I'm sending you a couple of these. Um, I want to call them viewers because that's what I was always told they're called, but they're specimen containers, viewers, specimen containers, dip and pour, all those different names. 
But he said, I'm sending you some of our new specimen containers for you to try out. And I was like, that's awesome. How did you know I broke one in my fish room? There was a little joke about him watching me. It was a little creepy, but whatever. Anyway, if you've ever met Zenzo, he is a great guy. I've only met him once, very down to earth. Uh, seems like a good guy that I'd like to hang out with if I ever get out to the West Coast. But long story short, he sent me two of these. I've been using them in the fish room. There isn't really much to say. They're soft. They say aquarium co-op. They work great. <clears throat> uh, if you drop them, they don't break. Ask me how I know. Uh, I think they're about 16 bucks on the aquarium co-op website. I'll put a link down below for you to check it out. Um, so if you're looking for them, now you know where to get them. The last thing I'm going to talk about before we go look at some fish tanks is this ultra fresh food. Now, I did a review on some of the the guppy food and the, the fry food. Put a link up there. And um, after that review, I talked to my contact at the company and he sent me this vegetable shrimp pie, which I've been using for plecos and quarries. And uh, he also sent me some community food, which I've been feeding upstairs primarily in the angelfish and tetra tank. I gotta call it that now, because it's got like 10 tetras in it too. Um, I know I said I've been, I will do a, a update on that tank, and I will, I promise, but the plants look like poop right now, so I gotta, gotta get them a little bit more, more better looking, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, this Ultra Fresh really looks like cobalt food, and I believe they make it for they make cobalt food but i don't have any proof of that because they can't tell me but uh so this ultra fresh i thought was their uh shrimp and veggie pellet uh but it's not it has many of the same ingredients but the actual protein and things are slightly different the pellet itself is a different size which i just almost spilled them all it's a little smaller but uh it's a nice size pellet if you only i keep dropping it it's a nice size pellet if you only have one or two plecos or a couple quarries, which you should definitely have at least six. So it's a little smaller than, uh, say, a kelp wafer from Northfin. Now, I like the, the packaging. Uh, I like the food. Here's what I don't like. This top, right? So if you're... If you're doing this to a fish tank, and, and you have to hold this out of the way. So basically all I do is I take it off, and then you can just put it back on. That's the only, right now, the only negative I see. My suggestion then was make this a screw top, but I don't know if that's more expensive or what they have to do. But overall, this uh, ultra fresh food has been pretty good. I'll put an Amazon link down below. It's the only place you can buy it right now. It's one of my problems with the company. You can't go to a mom and pop shop or a, an online retailer and buy it. You have to buy it on Amazon. And while Amazon is great for a lot of things, it's not great for small businesses. But we all use it, including me, so. All right, let's take a look at some stuff. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, here we are at Taco's Tank. Uh, it is an acrylic tank, if you're not aware, and uh, it's about 50 gallons, 48 or something gallons. First, I want to show you just how clean the bottom is. Uh, there is some debris, but I did feed him about an hour ago, so we got to let the filter do its thing. Uh, most of that debris will be gone tomorrow. I am really happy with how how it keeps the tank clean. Now let's take a look at uh, this heater. That is the 300 watt heater. It is indeed 300 watts. It's pretty small. Um, it, it, it's easily hidden if, if you like that because it's black. It's encased in that uh, shell, which uh, helps to keep it safe. And then over here, we have the controller. And I have it set to 82 degrees for Taco. Uh, that's where I think it's best for him. And uh, that's that. You can see it's got the cable that just sort of... I just sort of uh, hung up there with those white clips. I don't think this is going to be a permanent uh, place for this because of these wires here. I don't really like that. It's blocking some of the tank. So just for now, uh, I'm going to leave it like this. I may eventually put uh, the wires going along the back. I'm not really sure, but that's the, uh, that's the Hager heater. And again, I'll put a link. It'll be an Amazon link down below if you want to give it a try. So far, so good. 
I don't have any long-term uh, uh, answer for you, but so far so good. Uh, I do love the aquarium co-op sponge filters, which you know. Uh, in fact, every tank in the fish room has one. And, uh, you know, that's, that's that. All right, fishy folks. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. Say bye, Taco. Bye, Taco. So, stand by while, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to hook it up and I'll show you the later. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to give it one more go. Then I'm going to go upstairs and eat breakfast. And so I, uh, I should, I should really know how much they are.